Morning guys and welcome back to the best family on YouTube. Now today I am off to Leicester and all that a lot but first I want to show you something. Look what someone did to my lighter. The flame is bigger than the lighter. That is not right. hold it down you can see the gas spitting out oh it's getting small up look I took my finger off it and it's still got a light now I can smell the gas I can feel the gas hitting me. Let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, we? This light is nearly empty. Not that means I have to empty it some more. Just by making the thing open as much as it can. Which sort of means taking the thing off. Nearly. You nearly you take it off until it's on the last one. Well it takes off. And then what you do when you do it, it just lets all the gas go at once. Hang on. Okay, let's see what this does. Fucking hell. Look at that. We have to wait for that until that fucking dies down. I'm surprised the fucking plastic don't melt. Oh shit, I'm zooming in. Oh my god, that's got freezing cold. That's got like super cold. Because it's gas. And the gas goes really cold when it's being used a lot. And then the top bit goes warm. Mmm, that's nice. Okay guys, anyway. So I also wanted to show you guys, I think. If you look over here. Look. You see that? 
you know what that says? It's exporting yesterday's uh, yesterday's video. But let's take a sneak peek, shall we? That's if it don't crash. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. It's the swirl of death. I'm trying to zoom in on this and while focusing it as well. I'm really terrible at it. Oh, here we go. Now it's not even focus. Yo, guys, so I forgot to play. Oh, that's why it's frozen. Uh. It's froze again. It's froze. It's froze. A little swallow of death. Spin me right round. Okay. So, ooh, it's blurry. Alright. So yeah, guys. Uh, it's gonna take that long to do it. It'll take. Uh, It'll take that long to do it. I might put this back on autofocus. I'm really bad at focusing on stuff. So it'll probably take that long to do it. So yeah. What happens if you zoom in on the screen? It's good blurry and things get big. Like that one line just gets huge. Yeah. What happens if I zoom on the blur uh, the two lines? It just gets big. And things start overlapping each other. So guys, anyway, as I was saying, 
beforehand before I started doing this. Right. Before I started doing that is uh I'm off to Leicester today. Um I'm not gonna be doing that much, which you'll see. The only time I'll show myself is when I'm going into Leicester town. Bit and right lot. That's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys when I get into Leicester, okay? Yo guys, so I'm in Leicester right now and <laughs> Shut up you dickheads. <laughs> you got Hey, huh? I should have filmed the pool game. Yeah, is it still on? Yeah. Oh. Delete it! I ain't deleting that. You little wank -off. I fucking recorded a phone call with Ellie the other day. <laughs> fucking, she said, how do I remove a virus off my tablet? And I was saying, well, firstly, you need to put it in bed and then give it some, like, milk or whatever and make it go to sleep until it gets the virus away. Oh, it's start a new one, isn't it? Because you started... Speed. So, someone has just been pulled over. In it, guys. Where I can't walk and do it. Where's the cops gone? Behind it. What them? Oh. Fucking cop car there and shit. Check that. Oh, I want to be all off. <laughs> you fucking knobheads. Oh, you bastard. Fucking look like I puked up on myself. What's not? <laughs> Ching Chong Town! What? Oh, that's the police car. We're going in the jet garage. In it, bra. In it, bros. I was about to say bras then. In it, bras. Different wing. The focus on this thing is awesome, man. Look, I can just zoom in and see it like, like so far away. Just focus on it. Yo, guys. So I am back home now from Leicester, and I've just thought of a little prank to play on someone. Okay, so I'll roll you through what I'm gonna do. Okay. Firstly, I. I've gone and searched on the internet, uh, iPhone 3 dot message gif, uh, gif, and basically it's at that URL there, and it will give you this little gif here, and now, have you ever noticed when you're, oh, don't zoom into my nose, that's disgusting, okay, so have you ever noticed when you're on, message somebody through an iPhone or whatever like that, then it will come up with those three dots, well, if you send those three dots to someone, it'll look like you're trying to message them. So what I'm going to do is, I'm firstly, I'm going to download this GIF. So firstly, it'll go to the URL. So I dot image you are dot com forward slash b capital M. Capital B seven Q P X dot gif gif not gig gif. Okay, so there we go. I've got it up on my phone now. What I'm going to do is just hold down on it and click save. It will now save into my images. So I'm going to check my images. 
Now it won't look like a GIF on your images. Okay, so it won't, look, it won't be playing like a GIF on your images. I think if you go to edit, wait, no, it doesn't. Thought it might show you the actual thing. But still, now, if what we do, we go on to the messages, let's find someone, okay? Okay, so I'm going to pick Joe Andrews. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go to images, and select that image. I'll send it to him. Now, as you can see, down below there, it looks like I am about to message him. Now you'll think that I'm actually trying to message him or something like that, but I'm not. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm going to find some other pranks I can pull. I was reading about some pranks on here. <laughs> There's one here which says, go into your friend's contacts app, find yourself and change your name to someone else, and then just start messaging them from your own phone, it'll look like you're someone else. Ah, oh, so I want to do this at some point. Uh, change shortcut so when they type something, like it types something else. Oh, I want to do this one, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so for this one, what you have to do is you have to set some of these. You have to take a screenshot of some of these home screen on their iPhone, and then move all the apps from the home screen to a different actual a screen. And then what you do is uh, after setting the background image, uh, like of the actual screenshot, that when they try pressing an app, it won't work. <laughs> I know this one. You can turn guided access on, so uh, like they can't get out of an app. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, guys. So I'll. I'm still trying to upload this vlog from yesterday. It is still not doing it. It's taking absolutely ages, but I will get it up as soon as I can for you guys. So I'll talk to you later. Okay guys, so as I just put the camera down just a few seconds ago, I, I got one of these ads where it tricks you into calling some number because your computer's all fucked up or whatever. You know what I'm going to do for you guys, a prank call where I say that my computer's all broken and like I do shit too, so I piss them off and that lot. So here's the number, let's go and do it. <laughs> okay, let's be devious today. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. <coughs> Thank you for calling the Computer Antivirus Internet Security Helpline. You will now be connected to our next available Microsoft Certified Support Agent. No. They will not be Microsoft Certified. Trust me. Hi, uh, I was just uh, browsing the web and that lot, and this message say, came up saying my computer's got a virus, and it says to call okay. this number. Okay, could read that warning message for me with the warning 
It just says immediately call this number for support. There's a potential virus that's been found on your computer. Okay, as I understood, it's actually getting a warning message on the computer that the company is having potential virus. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. And since how long you're getting these kind of warning messages on the computer? Well, this is the first time I've seen this message come up. But, uh, okay, and this is the first time? Yeah. Have you tried to download something from the internet when you got these kind of warning message? Uh, I've... I've not been doing much, I've just been browsing Facebook and that lot, so... But then a, yeah. a message came up and said, call this number. Okay, because right now it's a breach of security alerts on the computer. Yeah. Whenever something goes beyond the reach of security device of your computer, you got these kind of warning messages on the computer, and the same thing's happening right now. So, for that I need to diagnose your computer first, then I will let you know what the problem is. For okay. that I need to connect your computer to our secure server. Then I will be able to let you know that what the problem you are facing on your computer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that. What's your name? So I can call you by name. My name. My name's Joseph. David. Yeah. Okay, David. It's a Windows computer, or it's a, like it's a Mac computer. It's a uh, old Windows computer. Which old computer? Like a Windows. Uh, which Windows are you it's using? It's XP? It, no, it's not XP. I think it's Windows 7 or something like that. It's Windows 7? Uh, one of those, something like that. I'm not very good at all these computer stuff. Well, okay, okay, it's okay. So you can do one thing. Have a look on the keyboard. Yeah, I'm looking at the keyboard. On the lower left side of the keyboard, there's a Windows key which has four boxes. Like CTRL key, then FN key, and then um, there's a Windows key which has four boxes. Uh, I only see a key, it's got a picture of an apple on it. You're using a Apple computer or you're using it to Windows computer? It's a Windows computer. Yeah, so how can it be possible that you're seeing the Apple icon on the keyboard? Well, it's definitely Windows because when I start the computer up, it says Windows. On the lower left side of the keyboard, which key is there? Just tell me. Oh wait, the left side. Which key is there on the lower oh, left side? Oh, it's a, it's a picture. It's like it's a picture of a window. No, I'm talking right. Which key is you right now? You're able to see on the lower left side of the keyboard. Uh, I just see a Control Alt and a Windows key. Yeah, just press the Windows key and by pressing and hold it down. By holding that key, you need to press letter R. R for Romeo. Press the Windows key. Yeah, it's and come up with a. R. It's come up with a box called Run. Sorry. It's come up with a box called Run. Yeah, just type the name of the program. Is it? Okay. Okay, type the name of the program. Just type it over there. Yeah. What do you need me to do? Okay. Yep. Just type I for Indiana. Yep. E for Echo. P for X P. Echo. X for X-ray. X for X-ray. T for Peter. E. P. It's P. P for Peter. Oh, sorry. I can't understand with your accent. Yeah. After P type L, L for Lima. L for Lima. O for Oscar. I've typed I Explorer. Yeah, type I Explorer. Yeah. And then give a space. Yeah. Then type www. www. And then put a dot. Yeah. Then type join, J-O-I-N. J-O-I-N. Along with join, you need to type number 3, number 6, number 0. Number 3, number 6, and number 0. Number 0. Yeah. yeah.
I've done that. Yep. And then type N E D net November Echo Tango. Dot net. Dot net N E D net November Echo Tango. Yeah. Okay, I've done that. Okay, what's your name so I can call you by your name? My name? My name is David. Name? Sorry? David. Oh, sorry, David. Okay, David, if you don't mind, can you repeat the things from the beginning, that what you have to add in that box? It says iExplorer www.join360.net yes. That's correct. I'll click on OK. Press OK. Yeah. It says Windows cannot find iExplorer. Make sure you type the name correctly and then try again. Yeah, just make sure it's once again, please. By press the Windows key and the letter R, then you can find the same boxes come up again. And when you type I, then you can find the same thing as already got in the computer. And just make sure once again that what you have typed in the... Or from the box which came up, you could have just pressed OK and it opens up the actual box with it all typed in already. Yeah. It's I for Indiana, E for Elephant, X for X-Ray, I for Indiana, E for yes. e for Elephant, X for yes. X-Ray, yes. P for Program, yes. L, L for Lima, yes. o, f, o for Open, L for yes. Lima, O for uh, Open, Yeah. Done that. O R E Alpha Lima over Oscar. R for Romeo, E for Echo. The yeah. word is I explore. I've done that. Okay, then put a space. Yeah, I've I've typed in the www bit already. J O I N. The word is join. J O I N. Yeah, I've I've put all that all of that in already. And after join, put a dot. Yeah, I've put www dot uh, join three sixty dot net. Yeah, now click on OK once again. Yeah. Now the page has come up on the computer screen. Is asking for the session key. Yes. Okay, just put the session key over there. The session key I'm going to provide you. The session key is 2923. 634. It's 2923 634. Okay. Have you then click on submit? Wait, my computer's just froze. Sorry? My computer's just froze. Yeah. Your computer is freeze. My computer's frozen, yeah. Frozen? Yeah. Okay, oh, just wait for a few more seconds. Oh wait, now it's gone to a blue screen. Saying computers crashed, please. Blue screen? Yeah. Okay. May I place a hold for one minute so I can talk to my technician regarding this problem. Okay, yeah. Okay guys, so while he's doing that, I'm going to download a virtual machine. Just so I can do it in that instead. In fact, wait there. No, I can't because it'll take ages. I'll do it in this one over here. Oh wait, it's not working. Oh crap. Wait. One over here.
There we go. That's all right. Yeah. It says on the screen, do not restart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've. I've. Uh, it's starting up now. Yeah, it's restarted. Sorry. Yeah, it's restarting. It's it's starting up now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be hard because I wanted to actually use a virtual box instead but it's not working right now uh, see if we can hello yep yes it's now running Yeah, uh, it's opened up Internet Explorer with the page already open automatically. Okay, so are you able to see the session key page? Uh, yeah. Okay, just put the session key now. Are you able to put the new session key in that box? Yeah. Okay, just type over there. The session key is 43. What is it? 2, 3, 4, 3, Four, so four three four three four two. No no no, it's a seven digit number. It's four three. So four three. Four, yeah, number four, number three. So number four, number three, number four. Number two. And number two. Number nine. So a two nine two. Nine. Have you type number nine? Yeah. Then two six. And then number two, number six. So two six. Once again, that's number four. That's number three. That's number four. That's number two. That's number nine. That's number two. That's number six. That's the seven digit number which I have told you. So it's a number three, a number four, a number four, a number two. Uh, uh, I've typed in a number two, a number four. Okay, I'll type it out again yes. then. Number four. Yes, three. A number three. Number four. A number four. Number 
number two. A number two. Number nine. A number nine. Number two. A number two. Number six. A number six. Then click on submit. Okay, but before I do, can I just say I'm an IT uh, I'm an IT administrator, and I, what I believe you're doing is a scam, and I do not think it's yes. ethical. No, it's not a scam. It is you a can scam. Search it on the Google page. If it's not a scam, you can search it then on why? Page why did this number come up on a web page, which was an advert? Because by mistake, you have clicked on some kind of pop-up and advertisement, and a software got installed in the computer. And due to that software, the warning message come up again on the computer screen. Yeah, and this. Same thing is right now on the screen. This software will download a program which will allow you to have complete control over my computer. While in the background, you. Can, what? Well, in the background, you'll be able to steal all my details uh, for later on. No, it's not like that. You can search it on the Google page. There are so many scammers in the market, but we are not from the scammers. We are having a legit company. Our company name is Easy Techie. Then why they did it? We are providing security and the support on the computer. So that's the only thing what we do. Well, my computer runs offline. And will not get virus. My computer cannot get viruses. My computer it runs offline well, most of the time. The then and this is a scam. What kind of you you having a cruise and maybe you don't have any kind of virus. Maybe you having a cruise and maybe different kind of viruses you have in the computer. If I had intrusions, I would know about it. But I know what you're doing is a scam. No, it's not a scam. If you think like that, I can't do anything in that case. All right then. So where are you located then? It's it said it used uh, the voice said at the beginning of the call you are Microsoft certified. Sorry. The uh, the voice said at the beginning of the call you are Microsoft certified. Is that correct? No, um, I didn't say any kind of thing. I'm saying that. We are company name is Ethan. I didn't say that. I'm from the Microsoft. I'm from the Mac. I didn't say anything. I only told no, you that no. we are providing security on the computer. That's the only thing what we are doing. No, when I phoned this number, a automated yeah. voice said you are Microsoft certified. Yeah, we are all Microsoft certified technician. We are having a Microsoft certified technician in our company. Yeah. So if you have, if you're having any kind of problem in your computer. We will transfer your computer to our Microsoft certified technician. They will further assist you with the things. Okay, if you're certified not from Microsoft, they are all certified by the Microsoft. If you are certified, then you can send your Microsoft certification details to my email address. How can this is not possible? This is not like that. You. We are not authorized. We are not authorized to do any such kind of things. Why we are giving uh, this proof to you? You can already search it on the Google page if you want. You can search it on the Google page. That's the only thing what I can do right now. Google can do anything. All what Google does is log down any website. It yeah, doesn't. You can just call on that number, and just you can check it from where the company uh, belongs to. Uh, if you were certified, you could give me a certifica certification ID. Yeah, we are having a certification ID. Just note it down the certification ID. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Our enrollment ID is seven two three six. Wait, say it slowly, please. Yeah. Say start. It's seven two. Seven two. Three six. Three six. Nine eight seven. Nine eight seven. Is that yeah. it? Okay. Well, what I'll do. Yeah. Is I have uh, a YouTube account, and if this does certification number doesn't go through properly, then I'll tell people not to call this number. No, no, it's not like that. Yeah. There are if there are many companies. By that company, you can get the feedback. Even you can get the bad feedback about the Microsoft and even about the Mac. So this is the way, because it's about the marketing. Maybe the due to the marketing reason, they all are doing like that. Well, I I can call up Microsoft and get see whether this is a certified number. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, and if it it sure. and if it isn't, then I can tell people not to call this number. Yeah, surely, surely, surely. Okay. Is there anything else I can assist you right now? No.
Thank you. Thank you for calling. Easy take care. You were talking to Morgan. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Okay, guys, so uh, I, w I didn't say it on the phone, but a, cert a Microsoft certification ID will not have a. How many numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. It's not like that. The amount of people certified with Microsoft is greater than what that could give you. Like, a, a Microsoft certification ID will uh, consist of letters and numbers and it's also uh, on on answer every single Microsoft certified person will be willing, link, uh, willing to send to your email their Microsoft certification certificate which is like a document stating all of their like details and like whether they are certified or not and yeah like just giving me an eight digit number will not be a certification number so guys please do not ever get like you know by the way sorry for my hair uh, but don't ever click on these numbers or anything like that because or even phone these numbers I mean because as soon as you do so they'll trick you into logging into they'll trick you into downloading these programs these programs there and they'll trick uh, and as soon as you download that program they can easily now. I'm not. I'm not saying this about every single person because there are people out there who are certified to do this kind of stuff. Like if you call, if you know that it's a legitimate number for a Microsoft certification, if you get it off the Microsoft website, for example, and they ask you to download these programs, then yeah, you can do so fine. But people like these, called Mohammed or whatever, these are all people trying to uh, uh, get into your computer maybe using the same software as Microsoft but still it's a free software they use this software to get into a computer and view your credit card details if you have it on your computer to view uh, all your stuff like phone numbers email addresses everything a lot and using them they can then uh, sell them to other companies to get money and that's how these scammers get money because they they'll steal your money from your bank if you have your bank account details on there they will sell your details. Trust me. That's why I I know not to click on these things or uh, phone these numbers. I only did this one as an example, and also to sort of like annoy him. I hope you found that uh, quite funny and cool and like that. Shall we check? I was going to actually download the program, but in only in a virtual box. I'd never do it on my own computers because I do have. I even have your guys' details on my computers, so I'd never do stuff like that. Uh, but my virtual box is uh, corrupt because I don't use virtual box anymore. Because, well, I have like 14 computers. Why would I need to simulate another computer? Like, yeah. Well, sometimes I do actually need to, but still. Export in one hour and four minutes. Fucking hell! It'll take ages. Oh. <coughs> oh, but let I was gonna quickly download it um, VM box so I could do one, but it would take me probably at least an hour or so to do it. Fortunately. Anyway, guys, so in this video, I was just checking through all my subscribers and I think doing shout outs is actually a pretty good thing lots, lots of channels don't do them because like the I don't know if for some reason they don't but oh crap in middle of exporting and it's crashed oh for fuck's sake oh that just takes the purse I'll quit this actually because it's probably taking the process of power oh I now have to start all over again this happened the other day, remember? Um, oh, in fact, no, I wasn't recording at that point, but I was exporting a animation for my intro, and it was a different one to what you guys saw in this vlog, which I'm, I'm trying to export, actually. But still, like, in the middle of doing it, and my computer goes to the blue screen of death. And it just took the piss. That's where I got the idea to say, "Oh, my computer's gone to the blue screen enough," from and stuff like that. But still, like, yeah, it just annoys me. Anyway, back to the subject of uh, shout-outs and that lot. Like, 
I like to give shout outs to people uh, so yeah I'm gonna do that now so I just want to shout out to some new subscribers to me uh, here we've got is that query eight 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 query eight 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 uh, sorry if I got your name wrong or something like that like you guys can go and subscribe to him if you want and that lot oh for fuck's sake uh, Levy Brown uh, and people like that uh, the Bruno Play uh, Ruby TM uh, and uh, last but not least Test My Speed EU uh, definitely go and subscribe to those guys uh, um, and yeah I I won't be able to have time to shout out to every single person but uh, sorry if I didn't shout your name out or anything like that uh, but yeah anyway guys so yeah I think I might do some more of these prank videos and might not see how it goes and yeah I'm thinking uh, a deck chair air horn Go outside, yeah. Go outside and uh, s sit on the deck chair in the middle of the road. And when a car beeps the horn at you, what you do is you turn around, get your air horn, just beep at them. So get out of your car, you lay it. Not trying to be racist or anything, but if they're black, big, and probably got a gun, then definitely leg it. Otherwise, you end up dead. But still, anyway, guys. So yeah, uh, hope you liked that prank. Well, it wasn't exactly a prank. It was more of a take the piss out of these scammers thing. But still, yeah. So time's up. It is five. It's five p.m., guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the vlog now because uh, I need to upload two vlogs today okay two because I haven't done yesterday's one so it wouldn't fucking work but yeah anyway guys so thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos and if you have any anything to ask at all just go and comment down below and I'll try and answer to most of you guys uh, well I'll try and answer to all of you guys but Obviously, if I get too many, then I can't answer to every single one. So anyway, guys, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out. Hey, up, guys. So uh, this is a tech video I haven't done in, well, I haven't done one in quite a while now. The last one I did was how to do a DDoS attack and all that lot. Since then, I've been busy doing my vlogs and all that lot, so I haven't had time. Literally, I've just gone and finished straight away my other vlog. In fact, you can tell that because I'm having to plug my camera in because it's really bad. There we go. So, anyway, guys, uh, still got six hours of recording time, so I'm fine. So, if you ever watch my vlogs or if you ever see my bedroom, which is pretty much a tip hole, like over here and stuff, just like sit here, drink Sprite while coding, and I just never put them away because I don't have a bin in my bedroom that's a bit of a shame isn't it? just have a bin just get one anyway so guys if you've ever seen over here I've got my I'm trying to like look at the camera and it's just opposite so yeah anyway if you ever if you ever seen this computer here it's an iMac G5 and if you ever watch my videos you will see it there it's all it's always been there and all that lot it's oh probably well, the actual computer is several years old, but I got it probably about a year or two ago, something like that. And it was my first Mac actually, not my first Apple device, that was my iPod, but it was my first Mac. And I. And since getting it, I got when I got it, like, it, works per it worked perfectly fine. And then probably about a year ago, uh, maybe half a year ago, it started messing up, sort of like it wouldn't turn on. Uh, at one point, I did get it working where I just f did something with the plug and it just worked and that lot. I still don't know what's wrong with it. For some reason, watch me now. Like I press the button, it will work. 
No. So as you can see, it's not turning on for some reason. I don't know whether it's got to do with the computer or it's got to do with the power supply. But either way, it's still not working for some apparent reason. So what I'm going to do to you guys in this video, I'm going to show you me trying to fix it. And then if I do get to fix it, then I'll uh, show you guys how I did it. Or if I find out the reason why it's not working, I'll tell you guys why it's not working. For any of you guys out there who have an iMac G5 uh, desktop series and want to fix it. And so yeah, let's get straight to it. So first mate, oh. Oh. Uh, like that. It's all plugged in right now, so I'm just gonna trace the plug back and boom. And a monster went off. I'm going to trace the plug back and find out where it's plugged in. Because it could be a reason that my plug's overloaded because I have probably about four or five extension leads behind there. Because I have too many computers. Well, for people who look at my bedroom, I think I have too many computers, but still. I never thought I have too many computers, so yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> thing. This thing weighs an absolute ton. Literally, I can't even hold it with one hand, please be serious. I had to carry this thing uh, on foot for a mile. I'm not joking. Uh, it took absolutely ages, I'm not joking, it just took ages and ages and ages. What would have been a probably mm, about half an hour walk turned into an eternity. Literally probably took me at least two hours or something like that. Okay, so let's turn this thing over. Um, what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to plug it in to a different socket. So I'm going to plug it into this socket over here. Uh, which one? Wait, I'll plug it into this one down there. Because I know for 100% this socket down here is working. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to plug it in. Make sure it's securely in there. Let's see. Okay, so it's still not wanting to work. If I am going to have to take this part, I am going to struggle because I have no idea how the hell you do this thing. I've took computers apart before, right, but I've never took an iMac G5 apart before. Uh, I've took a desktop one before apart, where it's the tower, but I've never took uh, an all-in-one one before. Okay, so don't know whether it's something to do with the button. There's one way to test whether the plug is actually getting power, whether the fuse is going to it. Plug it in. I think the fuse might have actually gone. So that means what we're gonna have to do is unplug it. Have a look at the fuse. Okay, let's put this over it. Okay, so that's that. Oh crap, that's not stable. Okay, so I'm going to do, let's open up this, uh, have a look at the fuse. <coughs> I don't know why I'm just 
screwdriver set's gone. Oh, there is a screwdriver. There we go. <sighs> okay, so what you do to open it up, the bottom bit here, you have to do is you have to push down inside of it. So, with that. And it should flip up. If it doesn't, just jam your bit in there. There we go. Okay, so this is a 10 amp fuse. If you shake it near your ear, sometimes you can hear whether they're gone or not. This one, it doesn't sound like it's gone, but I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can find a 10 amp fuse uh, so I can see whether it's uh, broken or not. Uh, fucking clap, where's my uncle? I know that's not the lyrics, but you're recording me, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> Literally, probably about in the future, it would be like several million people would have heard that. But right now, it's just like 30 people heard that. What do you mean 30 people? Well, actually, I get 100. And f I get about well, I got 163 views on that one. What do you mean 30 people have already heard it now? Well, I've got like 24 subscribers right now. But they can hear it right now. I'm right right now. You're not putting that up. I only heard the last bit. I have legal rights against that. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Actually, you don't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Read the law uh, about copyright. I know everything about copyright. I have websites. I have this vlog. I have content. Wait a minute, and if copyright. I haven't given you permission to put my like. The problem with that is right now you're in a set space, so the owner of the property has to actually. Uh, consent. So done. Yeah. Yeah. So he can consent, and he will consent. So you better not put that fucking video up on YouTube. Well, YouTube will probably block the noise out anyway because it's a song. I'll mute it out when I'm doing the thing then. And that whole conversation. No, I ain't getting rid of the conversation. Why? Fuck with that. Yo, guys. So I know. I, I know how I said I ended up with the vlog. Ended the vlog, but. My sister's just arrived and she's pulling funny faces now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you don't want to be in the vlog? No. Yeah, they're already seeing you in the vlog. No. Like... No! You're in vlogs. Like, you can delete it again because you made me talk. You, can, uh, you have no consent right. over your voice. Yes, I do actually. It's no, my you voice. Don't. You, right. you don't. Delete it! I ain't deleting this. Right. No, delete it and we'll make rolls up before you actually start recording again. Hey, delete. This is not a fucking movie. Delete it! What, you're gonna do lights, camera, action? Delete it! Yo, guys, so I know I said I was gonna end the vlog, but my sister just got back, and so yeah, I'm starting it up again. Even though I ended it. So yeah. <laughs> you seriously recording that as well? Yeah. <laughs> you can actually fuck off. So guys, now is actually the real end of the vlog now. Okay, so anyway, thank you loads for watching. Uh, please do subscribe. Don't forget to share and uh, don't forget to like my videos. And if you have any questions at all, no matter what it is, how ridiculous or how maybe good it is uh, of a question just leave it down there in the comments and I'll do my best to answer to it like I've done well so far so hopefully I should be able to so anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog and yet again peace out